Guilty here and birthday and birthdays. How are y'all doing today? This video is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, y'all. First things first, I only have one YouTube page and one Instagram page. Don't get scammed. You can only book a personal reading with me using my website, which will be listed down below in the description box. I pray you're having a beautiful and blessed day. I pray you're having a beautiful and blessed week. May Father God continue to cover you, bless you, keep you safe all days away. I am sending you so much peace, love, and healing energy, Aquarius, and anybody sending any negative energy towards me or Aquarius. May it be returned back to sender a thousandfold. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's begin. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest white light, please come down and protect me. Please come down and give me clear messages straight from the divine. Archangel Michael, Holy Spirit. Okay. Please come down and protect me, guide me, and keep me safe. And please come down and protect and guide the viewers that have clicked on this video today. What are the messages today for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node? So this is an omen. This is a tarot card. Y'all are about to be very, very, very happy, okay? The Ten of Cups is emotional satisfaction, fulfilling energy, feeling emotionally fulfilled, satisfied, feeling grateful, the children being happy, you being happy, everything being harmonious, being on an equal level, being with the one. And being able to create a very fulfilling, sustainable life together, okay? You're doing something where you're rebuilding, okay? You could be rebuilding at this time. Okay, I'm also speaking to an empress, okay, with nurture. You could be pregnant, okay? You could be getting ready to get someone pregnant. If you are a man, you could be nurturing yourself at this time as well, like in regards to just self-love, taking care of your hygiene, going to the doctor, getting your hair cut, getting your hair done, getting your nails done, like... You could be doing things that are keeping yourself upkeep, but it's keep taking care of your health and health as well. And the more you do that, the more it's like your vibration elevates, the more that you awaken, the more that you higher rise. It's like, this is beautiful energy that's coming in. But you most definitely are rebuilding and you are also protecting your heart, Aquarius. With this rebuild, she's covering her heart, male or female. Purple could be significant as well, your empathic and intuition. Your intuitive gifts are most definitely enhancing at this time. And you are someone that gives back to society. It's like you you receive knowledge, wisdom, love from up above, from the divine, and then you give back into the world. You give back to society. The color orange could be significant. Orange, roses, orange flowers, purple flowers, even like wearing blue dresses. Okay, but I'm seeing here, there was like a win or lose mentality. You feel like if something didn't go your way, you're losing, you're not. It's, it, was, it was an opportunity to learn, grow, evolve, advance to the next chapter, okay? And even if you feel like you could have thought that your victory was going to come on this time or this time, nothing comes in too early, nothing comes in too light. Everything happens exactly when it's supposed to on God's time. Okay, let's continue to move forward. The number five could be significant, May, March. Okay, July, the number three, 1661. Okay, you also have here, you are full of knowledge. Okay, you're full of knowledge. You could be a student, a teacher. This is also bringing in a major shift to you at this time. And it's bringing in a soulmate. You're getting ready to meet the one. The number 34 is here, 43. Okay, 33 is here as well. 49, 94. The number 13, 31, the number four, foundation, security, angel number three, four, five, could be significant, significant to you. I cannot speak during this new moon and full moon energy. It'd be so annoying, bruh. I am like, I'm literally just be trying to say words and it's like I stumble over my words and I know it's because of this full moon and new moon energy. I know it is. It always happens every month. It's like, oh my gosh. Thank y'all for bearing with me. But see, reading books, being studious, being a student, learning knowledge at this time, that's going to help you keep you safe. That could be like the, the main move at this time for you, especially if you are a divine masculine, okay? Because you're meant to be with a divine feminine. Let's continue on. Or if you are a divine feminine, your divine masculine, he's coming. He's on the way. He has got pick up the deck, soulmate. What does Aquarius need to know? Yeah, somebody's masking, they're hiding their real intentions, they're concealing their true thoughts in regards to you, they're masking it. 
It could also be because this person was dealing with a karmic, or they could be a karmic to you. They may like third parties. This could be someone that's a hater, okay? And it's like you're learning certain lessons or they're learning certain lessons in regards to this dynamic. But you have an apology that's coming in. This is someone that you may need to literally like look at with side eyes because they're doing it. They're insincere. <clears throat> they're taking some type of rash action. Angel number 111543 could be significant as well. They're very arrogant. Somebody here is trying to open up the doorway to having possibilities in their life again. Okay, they want to make up their mind. They want you to believe in them, believe in the relationship. It's, they want you to look at it as fairy tale energy, believing in your dreams. This person really is like bipolar. Their emotions go up and down, and they're full of worry and fear, and they're mad. They're bitter, they're angry, they're unhealed, they're petty, because you know the truth about them. You have taken time to slow things down, to treat yourself, to buy flowers for yourself, or just to love on you and people that pour naturally back into you, okay? You're taking some you time at this time. You could also be getting out more into nature. But I see here intimacies in the reverse. Somebody here feels like you don't want to sleep with them again or you're not connecting to them on that level again. It's no unity. It's no closeness. It's hopelessness. Okay, this person feels at a loss, very depressed, and even suicidal over the situation. But it's like they did this to themselves. Yeah, you have, you have a soulmate that's coming in while this person wanted to be narcissistic egotistical, very prideful, an opportunist, and really very fragile. You have an actual soulmate, actual counterpart that's coming in. This could be your twin flame, okay? A deep divine relationship, friendship, or romantic partner that's getting ready to come in and enter your life. Okay, what else does Aquarius need to know? Okay, Pisces is here. You could have a Pisces in your energy that has bad habits and addictions that you need to be mindful of. You could even be someone that is going to be looking at you as their perfect match, but it's not the same. Okay, yeah, you also have the best of both worlds. This person wants to have the best of both worlds. They want to have their cake and eat it too. Be very mindful. You have a Scorpio that's here as well. Okay, yeah, this is like a star-crossed love that could be coming in with the Scorpio. It could also be with the Gemini, okay, or a Libra. These could be new energies that God is bringing in, and it's going to feel like a divine soulmate. Yeah, a fruitful union. This could even be with the Leo, okay? It's going to be deep magnetic attraction in this dynamic with these people, with this person, okay, with the newer energy. Okay, let's see here. What does Aquarius need to know? Eight minutes. What does Aquarius need to know? If somebody wants to bargain with you, they want to beg for, like, your forgiveness. They're watching you online. They're trying to gather information on you online, and it's like they're on hot pursuit. They know that you're moving on. Well, you have moved forward with the chariot. The number seven could be significant as well. Yeah, there's deep realization that's here. Okay, you could be finding things out, or someone here is finding out different things in regards to you, and they know that you're focused. You're remembering why you started in the, in the beginning, okay, from Jump Street. Yeah, you ghosted someone. There's like a blocking here, cut off, okay, no communication, and it could be really hurtful to this individual. This could even be a Virgo. Like someone here is really hurting at this time over not being able to talk to you. They could even be hiding the fact that they're into tarot or that they're getting readings done on you, okay, or someone here is, yeah. This person had plans on trapping you with a child, on tying to your money, your heartstrings, and their emotions are going up and down because they're realizing that you, the love, was actually real. They didn't have to do any of that, okay? They didn't have to do any of that with you. The love was real. The truth, this is Ace of Swords energy. It could be with an Aquarius or you have an Aquarius that could be wanting to talk to you about some type of truth and clarity or clear the smoke screen energy if they want to clear the air, okay? This could even be either an Aquarius coming towards you or you could be telling the truth to an Aquarius, Okay, but there is someone that feels like a clown, okay? They they know that you have healed or you're on your path towards enlightenment, okay? While they are continuously trying to create energy or they're just very really thirsty. Somebody here has a lack of self-love, okay? Trust in your intuition, I'm seeing here, because it's creating good karma and blessings for you. With the justice card being here, yeah, the hamster wheel. You could also be moving very quickly or, you know, doing different things in regards to your money. Be mindful of get-rich-quick schemes, like get-rich-quick-fast. Be mindful of those, okay? Yeah, no matter what happens outside of you, you are safe. 
with the moon being here, things are still being hidden and you're needing to listen and trust in your intuition to be able to uncover what is being hidden from you still. Okay, that's just what it is. Things are being hidden. It's a lot of secrets. It's like you're viewing life to be one way and it's really a completely different way. Somebody is casting you and they have heavy like spell work, illusions, magic. They want you to view them as like the perfect match or the relationship as the perfect match and it's not. Don't spend too much time in contemplation. It could also be with a cancer or a Taurus. Someone here could be married. You could be wanting to marry a cancer or a Taurus, so they could be wanting to marry you. But somebody here, they're about to take quick action moves because they feel like they're running out of time. The number five is here. The number 18, 81. The number nine. Anything else that Aquarius needs to know? The ten of wands. You could be in a marriage and it's something like hardships, burdens, or strife. Five, four, three could be significant. Or it has been very difficult to be serious in either the relationship that you were in at this time or just with people in general. It's been very, it's been difficult. Ten of wands. Yeah, it's like some type of inner pain or turmoil. Cheating, scandal, betrayal, unseen truth is coming out. It's also putting a lot of pressure or weight on you. Someone is still trying to push through even though they're heartbroken and they hide it very well. They look at like what they invest in and they're like, damn, I, I should have never invested. I didn't get back anything. But this could be you or someone else that needs to realize like it was a lesson that needed to be learned. What's the Ten of Wands? The King of Pentacles could be with the Earth sign. The Nine of Cups in the Reverse. Yeah, whatever this was, it didn't bring you any type of real happiness. It didn't, ha it didn't bring you satisfaction. It brought you dis discontentment, the unwillingness to keep going. It wasn't something that you wanted to brag about at all, the nine of cups in the reverse. But spirit needed you to go through this so that you can learn certain lessons, so that you could go into isolation, the hermit, so that you can embrace God's will and energy over you. 432 on the timer, as I said this, there is a new beginning that's coming towards you. Okay, this could be with an Aries or a Taurus, or this is just for you, Aquarius. There is a new start that's here. Once you take charge of your life, the emperor, you boss up, you level up, you put those firm boundaries down, and you realize what you actually want and don't want. What's the three of swords and leave people out in the cold that do not really need to be in your energy? Yeah, whatever this is, you walked away. You had the courage, the intuition, the psychic abilities. You, you caught the downloads to leave. The Queen of Cups, you even could have left the water sign or there could have been a water sign or a Libra that left you. Okay, what's the Queen of Cups? Yeah, the Five of Wands. And, yeah, your intuition told you it's time to drop drama. The Five of Wands. Yeah, and use your discernment. You could come across as very loving, but it's like you're very protective of your mind, of yourself, of your religion, of your spirituality, of what makes you you. The, queen, the King of Swords, you'll curse somebody out. This could even be someone that knows this about you like they know that you're in a very loving sweet kind energy and they could be trying to play on it this could be someone you have a child or family with or they could have a child or family okay but the thing about it is things are not fair the six of pentacles in the reverse things are not equal it's no equal give and take love loyalty none of that spirit is like it's time for you to go empress or emperor it's time for you to meet who's actually it who's actually aligned with you who's actually a visionary a boss a ceo a go-getter like you Somebody here, they'll give you things, but they're going to want money or time. Or time. They're going to want something back out of it. They don't just give you anything. Okay, somebody here, this energy is really shy what's the What's the Six of Pentacles? Could be an earth sign. They sleep around. They do things for money, for sex, for greed, for temptation. They, mm. This could be an, an air sign. This person is here for a good time and not a long time. What's the Four of Wands? Okay, taking action to cause an ending. So you could be taking the necessary steps to create an ending, which is creating a shift in your life at this time. This is you having the courage to boss up, okay? And you're being guided by the divine. 222, that angel number could be significant as well. Yeah, you're starting fresh. You could be a novice at this or a novice at a new project, a new idea. It's just something new that you are doing. And you could be a little fearful, but just know that this is being divinely guided. Okay, literally, the strength card coming out wanted to come out in the reverse. There could have been a lack of like confidence, self esteem, belief, and self belief that you could do it. Okay, be mindful of being very egotistical or prideful and not being humble as God elevates you because God watches your heart. 
yeah, this happened in the past where you could have started fresh or you went towards something and it made you very weak or it made you have low self-esteem or look at yourself differently. Like that's getting ready to change, Aquarius. Like no more of that. No more of that. What else does Aquarius need to know? Yeah, there's about to be a fall from grace. What else does Aquarius need to know? Okay, yeah, you have a soul contract with someone. Okay, this could be your, with your twin flame. You're about to meet your, your your real twin flame, like the person who you're supposed to spend your life with, ages with. The person that's not going to betray you. Did, 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 none of that. You're going to meet your real twin. Not the karmic one, your actual, like the one that's God sent, heaven sent. Yeah, Toyota is here. You could have a Toyota, Honda, Chevy, Ford, Mazda, Acura, Hyundai, or this person does. Earth sign energy is here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There could have been an earth sign sending you negative energy, and it has been returned to sender times 10. It's because you are an earth angel. It's like it's not going to affect you. It's not going to hit you. Yeah, this is a Capricorn doing this, or it could be a Capricorn. You're going towards your destiny. The letter E could be significant, first, middle, or last initial. Okay, all blockages have been removed which is why somebody's broke at this time or wanting to come back towards you. It's like they were manifesting off of your energy. Somebody is also solo. Okay, you could be solo at this time, and it's just because you're being protected from someone that's gay on the down low, bisexual, and they're hiding it. Okay, dirty secrets are getting ready to be exposed. Something could be happening on Friday. Okay, the letter Y, people are questioning why. Someone's brother is also questioning why certain things are happening. Okay, yeah, someone will never have money. They're cursing themselves. Their plans did not work. Whatever it was to set you up, it could have been a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Somebody here wanted to set you up. Now be, they're being set up. Okay, they're in major depression at this time over you. It could be a narcissist. Okay, the letter F could be significant. You also have your spirit guides, your spiritual team has stepped in. Or somebody, whoever's trying to set you up and they're being set up, their spirit guides ain't helping them. Okay, and they not they they letting them take that ass whooping. Okay, you have your true love and marriage is on the way to you. This is something that you could be manifesting, Aquarius. Okay, yeah, do love could be already in your life for someone here. The letter J could be significant, first, middle, or last initial. Yours or theirs. Be mindful of a dark high priestess, someone that does not follow or listen to God at all. Be mindful of connecting to them or listening to them online or reading like information from them. Like really be mindful. Okay. Yeah. Be patient as well. You also have something that have happened two months ago. Yeah. With an Aries, something could be happening in the springtime. Know that love is all around you. Aquarius, your angels and your ancestors, they are pissed off about what's going on because somebody keeps paying or they have paid for spell work to be done and it's not working and they were trying to attack your destiny. The letter K could be significant. Okay, you have family members or friends that are jealous of you, so be mindful of this, or your person's family members or friends are going to be jealous of them. Okay, you need to tell this person no or tell these people no. I'm also seeing here the letter O. Okay, let's see what else. Anything else that Aquarius needs to know? Okay, yeah, someone's hair is falling out. Wow. It's time to break up. Or someone here realizes it's time to break up because it's like their physical beauty is going downhill. Yeah, they believe what you said now after some type of really bad ending. You also could have moved away or you need to move away. But this person's about to move away. They also want you to burn sage. Cleanse your space, cleanse your aura because somebody is for the streets. He or she is for the streets. Okay, they're not loyal. They're not faithful. They're not honest. You also could be getting ready to get your dream home. You could be an influencer or you need to start. Taurus is also in your energy as well. Somebody here, the feds are coming. Okay, get ready to be a millionaire or billionaire. This is all, this is what you, this is what you are on the path towards. Like you're on a path and it's leading you towards this. I couldn't even get it out. Your ancestors are about to take this person out. If someone here knows you have a telepathy, like a telepathic gift, or you can communicate telepathically in connection. You also hold good weight in the spiritual realm, okay? Dark energy and demons are coming after someone, after trying to send it to you, okay? It's coming back towards them. Oh, man. Okay, let's see what else. Archangel Michael, what's the advice? Okay, your inner guidance is real and trustworthy. Please help me clearly see here 
feel and know the divine guidance that I have asked and prayed for. Allow me to keep my ego out of the way so your wisdom can come streaming through me for my own benefit and for those around me. And at the bottom, you have here focus upon divine and perfect health. Amen, Archangel Michael. Let's see what Holy Spirit has to say, advice, Holy Spirit for Aquarius. Okay, you have here. I am already abundant beyond measure. My grief, anger, sadness, anxiety, or loneliness do not define me. I only do what sets my soul on fire. I release control of my plans to make way for my destiny. My thoughts manifest my reality. I hold the power to choose them. And at the bottom, honoring my boundaries is not selfish. We definitely want you to focus on having strong and firm boundaries. I hope this resonated with you. May peace and blessings be to you always, Aquarius. And I'll see you on the next video.